everybody. Happy Friday. It is a good day to have a good day. And I don't know where you are in the world, but over here we have a uh, long weekend coming up for the family day long weekend. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I've got my tea here and I'm ready to go for this morning's live video. Um, I wanted to just quickly touch on something that has nothing to do with this topic today because we're talking about um, pivoting when things don't go to plan and there's a reason why we're talking about that. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, so yeah, so this morning we're talking about pivoting when things don't go to plan. And before we dive into that, I was gonna, I was just about to share this story and it's so silly and whatever, has nothing to do with this topic at all. But I was saying, I was on TikTok cause I'm like getting like, you know, absorbed into the vortex of when, um, like of TikTok. Um, but there's this like whole video about all this stuff related to like, if you if you wear your hair parted to the side like you shouldn't because you're like because you're a millennial like it's so dumb so anyway so like apparently the new trend is to like part your hair down the middle so i'm like okay let me try the trend and see how it goes and like honestly you guys i'm kind of liking it i think uh, gen z knows what they're talking about with this hair part in the middle um we'll see we'll see how long it sticks around for how long it lasts but in any case uh, we are talking about pivoting when things don't go to plan. Good morning, Susie. Good morning, Nicole. I'm super excited to have you both on here today. Um, and welcome to everyone who's watching the replay. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, just leave them in the comment box um, once the replay is posted on my page. So I was inspired by this topic today from what happened yesterday. Oh, Susie with the side part, uh, middle part, not for me, LOL. <laughs> I hear you. Oh man, that's funny. Um, so yes, yeah, so I want to talk about pivoting when things don't go to plan because this is exactly what happened to me yesterday. So as you know, my membership was supposed to launch today. Um, and I had done everything on the back end. Everything was ready to go. I got everything in line and everything was, um, everything was just in line and ready to be, uh, ready to be sent out to everybody for you all to see it. And then I was testing all the links yesterday and my payment button doesn't work. So I can't accept payment on my membership. So I have to push my launch until I can figure out what's going on. So I use Stripe as my provider. And on the back end, I had to contact them. They looked into it for an hour and then they were like, we can't do anything. We have to escalate this up to, you know, so-and-so at whatever department. And so now they've been in contact with me and it's a whole big process. And you know what happens with these things is never linear, right? It never takes as long as, like it never happens as quickly as we want it to happen. Um, so I was really bummed yesterday because I was really excited to launch this um, like have it open for everyone and have it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I was really looking forward to having the membership live this morning so that you could secure your spot because there are limited spots, um, with waitlist priority, of course. Um, and so I got to thinking to myself, like, you know, even in times where we don't understand why things are happening the way they are, the universe always has a plan. There's always a reason why something is happening in this moment, the, the way that it's happening. There's a reason why the launch can't happen today. Although I may not know what that reason is, the universe always has a bigger plan. The universe always has bigger guidance. So regardless of the speed bumps that we face, especially in this situation, regardless, my membership program is launching and we are starting in March regardless. However that looks like and whatever I have to do to get there, that doesn't matter. The, the, the part that matters is that I'm now taking a look at all of the different areas. How can I make this work? What do I need to fix? How can I pivot? How can I quickly shift so that I can get my program into the hands of the people who need it and into the hands of the people who are going to really, um, really benefit from it? Good morning. Good morning. And um, so I keep thinking to myself, like, you know, all of these different things happen and we don't understand why specific things happen and the timing that they do, but everything happens for a reason. And it's always easier to look back, right? It's always easier to see why something happened 
when we're looking backwards. Like we can understand why maybe a launch failed, you know, two months ago, or maybe we didn't get our service up and running by the timeline we imagined that it would happen. But that's okay because that's necessary because there's so many other things that are happening in the background. There's inner work going on. There's inner growth going on. And sometimes we need to sit back and reevaluate and reimagine what our goals are, how are we trying to get there, and why are we trying to get there in this specific timeline? What happens if the timeline changes? How do you pivot when the timeline changes? So pivoting is really about taking the situation that you're in right now and looking at all of the different options that are in front of you and choosing to explore the different avenues that are gonna make the most sense for your business, the most sense for your growth, and the most sense in where you wanna go um, in terms of what you're trying to create. So I just wanted to share this with you today because listen, it's so easy to think that people who have, um, who may look quote unquote, like they have it all together. People who have, you know, their businesses can be bringing in multi millions of dollars every single year, every single month. It doesn't always go to plan for a lot of people. But where the grit happens, where the resilience happens, where the transformation happens is what are you doing in the moments where you're, where you're experiencing a different outcome than what you expected? Good morning. Um, when you're experiencing a different outcome than what you expected. It's what are you doing in those moments to help yourself shift into getting to where you want to go. It's looking, pivoting is looking at all of the different avenues that you have available to you and choosing to explore them all because you're maximizing on all of the different avenues that can take you to where you want to go because growth is not linear. Healing is not linear. Launching a program is not linear. There's no Bible or rule book or guidebook that is going to tell you how to live your life. None of that is linear. There's always something coming in and being pushed in from the outside. There's always going to be something that is going to come in and try and disrupt the flow. But you have to keep your eye on where you're trying to go. You have to keep your eye on what the transformation is of the specific thing that you're creating, the specific thing that you are putting out into the world. That is going to be your end goal regardless. How you get there may look different than you imagine. It can always look different. And that's okay because it's not always supposed to look the way we think or expect it to look. Timelines though can always be, you can adhere to timelines super, super easy. Like it's easy to do that technically. Good morning, good morning, good morning. You know, yes, like we want to plan around our timelines. We want to make sure that we're hitting our deadlines. Those are really important, but it's about what's happening in the in-between. What's happening in the moments where, you know, it's not going to plan. How do you pick yourself back up when it doesn't go to plan? And so I was sitting here yesterday when my membership, I ca it cannot launch. I mean, I can launch it, but you like, I can't accept payment. So what's, it's kind of like, what's the point? And then what's my option? You know what I mean? From that point, what is the option that I have now? to be able to take what it is I want to put out into the world and how am I gonna get there? So the membership is coming. <laughs> it's all gonna be good. The way that I get there might look different. And so I just wanna remind you today that, you know, enjoy the ride, enjoy the journey, and enjoy the blessing that the universe is bringing you in a dis in disguise because it's happening for a reason. While we may not understand what that reason is, it becomes very apparent when we look backwards. And um, so I want to leave you with this thought today. This is my Friday thought, and then I'll be back on Monday even though it's a holiday, but I still be back on Monday for, um, for this live at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Um, and hopefully... I'll be all sorted and we'll be able to uh, get your beautiful faces into the membership so we can start um, at the beginning of February, at the beginning of March. So that is my goal for the weekend. And um, I hope you enjoy your weekend ahead. Enjoy your long weekend. Enjoy your day. I'm sending you all my love. Um, thank you so much for showing up this morning and every single morning you all make my day. And um, yeah, I'm sending you all the love today. And just remember that it doesn't always look linear. But you've got this. See you on Monday.